Greetings, my friends. I've been talking about the false prophet a lot lately, and I need to talk about the Antichrist. I don't do this very often, but it's uh, I've came across some really, really just uh, unbelievable information I'm going to share with you in this video. I'm going to scroll and show you everything that I have so you can follow along with me. This is just amazing stuff. Uh, this gives you a 100%, as close to 100% as you can get of depiction of who the future Antichrist actually is. As the title of the video says, there's four possible lineages that reveal the future Antichrist origin. One living man matches all four. 99% of Christians and watchers have very strong opinions as to the proper lineage of the biblical Antichrist. People have different reasons for believing one or more of the following about the lineage of the Antichrist. And the odds are beyond astronomical, <clears throat> written simply as Graham's number, a number so long that it baffles the mind that any one man could fulfill all four of the above genealogies, but one truly does. These are the four camps you'll see on 99% of all Christians. They believe the Antichrist must be an Assyrian. They believe he must be Jewish from the Israeli tribe of Dan. They believe that he must be a Muslim and be traced to the prophet Muhammad. And they believe that he must be traced to the Caesar's Roman Empire. And they talk about the EU all the time. And everyone, 99% of all Christians believe that he is one of the above. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and dig in uh, to what I have come across here. And let's see what we think. This gene genealogical list shows a, a descent from Antiochus Soter, the Savior. Interesting. He'd be called the Savior, the Antichrist, the false prophet, the, the, the false Savior, hmm, the false Christ. So this is the Assyrian connection. I'm going to go ahead and just lay it up here for you. Let you take a little look at it here and give you a chance to just, just go ahead and just start looking. We're going way, way back, my friends, in, in, in some cases, a couple thousand years. And you'll see all these kings and all these different people, starting with the very beginning of the Assyrian connection. And just keep going ahead and reading. And you can read a lot of these names and keep on going down. And you see Syria and you see Persia and all kind of stuff. Okay, let's bring down some more. Let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, Skim it down some more. And you can see we're in uh, the year nine, 961, approaching the year 1000 right now. So we're a little over a thousand years back from where we are right now. Keep on perusing these. We've got emperors, we've got princesses, we've got kings, we've got counts, <coughs> countesses, empress. Okay. Seeing all this, got a good look at that. Okay, let's cruise on up some more and keep going down, keep going down. And oh, what's the second of the last name? We have Stanley Ann Dunham. That name sounds familiar. She's a Jew, by the way. And Barack Hussein Obama Sr., a Muslim. Hmm. Look at the very last name in this uh, genealogy from the Assyrians and from the tribe of Dan. Barack Hussein Obama Jr. Hmm born 1961. So he's a direct descendant from the original kings of the Assyrians. Let's read a little bit more here. He's a descendant of the Seleucid dynasty, Persian royalty, Syrian royalty, first cousin about 69 times removed from Antiochus Epiphanes IV. <coughs> Notes, the Kushan Empire formed in the first century AD in the territories of ancient Betria, which is now northern Afghanistan and southern Teg Chagistan and Ubikistan, it spread into parts of China. The Sasanian Persians were the last of the ancient Persian dynasties. The connections are all there in this genealogical report. Greco-Roman, Seleucid, Persian, Afghanistan, Jewish, Prophet Muhammad of Islam, relationship to Antiochus, Epiphanes, Assyrian, Persian, Greek, Rome, Arab, Jewish, and tribe of Dan connections. And we're going to keep on going down more to show you the rest of the connections that I just listed there as well. So we, we checked off on the Assyrians and tribe of Dan. Now let's go ahead and go to uh, the Antichrist will be a root of the descendants of the prof, of the Muslim prophet Muhammad, who was around from 570 to 632, about 2,000 years ago. Not not 2,000, but in that in that ballpark, 15, 1,500 plus. So we start with Muhammad, as you see up front, the original prophet. Look down a little bit, Ismail, the Imam of Seville, who's an Imam. That's in red. That's an important one for them. Keep on going down. We got kings. We got princesses, kings, kings, princes, sirs, ladies. 
Let's keep on going down, keep on reading, keep on reading. We get down to the 1600s here in this section. Give you a little bit more time. I don't want to rush you. Keep an eye on that. Check it out. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and go. Oh, look at the very, look at the very bottom again. Barack Hussein Obama Jr. Hmm. A direct descendant, descendant from the Prophet Muhammad. Two for two. Matches not one, but two <clears throat> of the Antichrist char uh, characteristics of where he where he must hail from in his genealogy. Very, 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 very interesting stuff, my friends. No, that's actually number three because we already went through Assyrian and tribe of Dan. Now we're actually into Muhammad. So this is three for three right now. One, two, three. All right. And now we've already covered those. Let's go ahead and go through the genealogical chart uh, from the Caesars. So we start with Claudius I and his younger niece Agrippina. Okay. 59th great grandparents of Barack Hussein Obama Jr. So let's go ahead and keep on rolling through here and keep seeing all the kings and kings and kings and kings. And we go way down uh, at the bottom of it. We're down at about the year 1040. We get down to the bottom. Okay. So let's keep on checking. Take your time and look. Okay. Let's roll it on down some more. And again, at the very bottom, who do we see? Barack Hussein Obama, the 59th great-grandson of Claudius I. Also note, Barack Hussein Obama Jr., that's that's Barack Obama, is also descended from a Miss Africa of Scotland, a daughter of King William I, the Lion of Scotland, and a concubine. He's also, besides being the 59th great-grandson of Claudius I, he's the 59th great-grandson, uh, his 59th great-grandmother of Barack Obama Jr. gave birth to Nero, Remember that name, Nero, Philo while Rome burned? By another marriage and persuaded Claudius I to adopt Nero, making Nero a 59 half uncle of Barack Hussein Obama Jr. as well. Okay? And again, this makes him of the Roman Empire's Caesar. So it's four for four. Okay? The odds, the odds of anyone being four for four because it is Graham's number, a number too large to, to, to write anywhere. So people can believe what they want to believe. And again, let me make it clear. I don't care about the Antichrist. I won't be here when he takes power. Sadly, most people will be here. All the unsaved, all the backslidden Christians who don't believe they'll be here, they'll find out the hard way that, I, that, that the Bible was right. Not that I'm right, because I say what's in the Bible. The Bible was right when they're left behind and have a great chance of ending up in hell before they can get right with the Lord. They'll understand the hard way when they see Barack Hussein Obama and Pope Francis, the, the Antichrist and the false prophet respectively, Take over with take over with their with their king, their god, Satan, to complete the unholy trinity, and they start reigning pure hell on earth. Then they'll say, Oh, wait a minute, that Paul Kidd guy was onto something. <clears throat> and I take no credit for anything. I give all glory to God for anything that I accomplish and anything that I can find, anything that I come up with, I always make sure I can back it up. And again, you see I backed it up with total, total, total genealogies. Amazing stuff, my friends, incredible stuff. The rapture is upon us. All signs for the, for the rapture to take place have happened right now. They're upon us right now. We have to, we're not waiting for anything but for God to give Christ the word to snatch us right away. If you don't want to be left behind for seven years of hell where the world is torn apart and billions upon billions upon billions of people die, the most grotesque, awful, horrific, death imaginable man, you need to pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video, because no one's guaranteed even another day, hour, minute, or second of your life. No one's guaranteed that, okay? And you need to get it going. I just... <clears throat> don't want to see anyone left behind for this hellish nightmare and most to end up in hell in the lake of fire. Anyone, those who love me, those who hate me, those who are indifferent to me, I don't want to see anyone left behind. I love you all dearly like Christ loves you because I'm told to emulate him and I love you. If you hate me, I love you back. So anyone that follows Christ with me in my various ministries, I, I love you dearly. And if you need prayer for anything, please contact me. I will pray for you every day. And I'll, I'll take you right before the throne of God and let him know the prayer request. Please get out there, true Christians. Witness and pray for the lost, what little time we have left. And share this information that I put out. Share this video. Share all my videos, all my sermons. I'm censored because of my faith endlessly on social media. They hate my guts. They hate Jesus, God, and the Bible. So they hate me by proxy. I represent them. Help me get the word out. Help me fulfill the Great Commission. You get credit as well in heaven for those who get saved. And look up true Christians or dipshit all at night. We fly us to me. God bless you. Share. Bye.